there are several verses in the Bible that allude to the fact that there are black people in Israel and surrounding areas of Israel. One of them is the story of Moses. His wife is a Zipporah, who was a Midianite. The Midianites are in Saudi Arabia, somewhere closer to the Israeli settlement areas. Now, why does this matter? Well, it's because this Midianite woman in the Bible is said to be an Ethiopian. And as you can see with this 15th century painting, the people had clocked it down. Now, there's two ways out of this. Some people suggest that Moses had two wives, Zipporah and an Ethiopian. But there's no proof of this. Which means the only solution is that Moses' only wife was an Ethiopian. Numbers 12, verse 1. Miriam and Aaron began to talk against Moses because of his Cushite wife, for he had married a Cushite. Has the Lord spoken only through Moses? They asked. Hasn't he also spoken through us? And the Lord heard this. Now Moses was very humble, more humble than anyone else on the face of the earth. At once the Lord said to Moses, Aaron and Miriam, come out to the tent of meeting, all three of you. So the three of them came out. Then the Lord came down in the pillar of cloud. He stood at the entrance to the tent and summoned Aaron and Miriam. When both of them stepped forward, he said, listen to my words. When a prophet of the Lord is among you, I reveal myself to him in visions. I speak to him in dreams. But this is not true of my servant Moses. He is faithful in all my house. With him I speak face to face clearly and not in riddles. He sees the form of the Lord. Why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? The anger of the Lord burned against them, and he left him. When the cloud lifted from above the tent, there stood Miriam, leprous like snow. Aaron turned towards her and saw that she had leprosy, and he said to Moses, Please, my Lord, do not hold against us the sin we have so foolishly committed. Do not let her be like a stillborn infant coming from its mother's womb with its flesh half eaten away so moses cried out to the lord o oh god please heal her the lord replied to moses if her father had spit in her face would she not have been in disgrace for seven days confine her outside the camp for seven days after that she can be brought back so miriam was confined outside the camp for seven days and the people did not move until she was brought back after that the people left hazareth and encamped the desert of parin the hebrews word was used for various diseases affecting the skin not necessarily leprosy okay so as you can see here, not only does the story say that she was a Cushite, but it says that the other ones spoke out against this concept because she was a Cushite. Now again, uh, Moses' wife is a Midianite, as it's stated in other parts of the Bible. So what does it mean that she's a Cushite? It means that she's a Midianite of Cushite origin. In other words, that she is a black woman from Cushite origin. The only other way to take this is that Moses has two wives, which again, you would have to state that, show that, prove that Moses had more than one wife. Now, if you read another part of the Bible, it makes it quite obvious that Moses had this one wife because of the circumstances. 
um, Exodus 2, verse 15 to 22. When Pharaoh heard of this, he tried to kill Moses, but Moses fled from Pharaoh and went to live in Midian, where he sat down by a well. Now a priest of Midian and his seven daughters, and they came to draw water and fill the troughs to water their father's flock. Some shepherds came along and drove them away, but Moses got up and came to their rescue and watered their flock. When the girls returned to Raoul, their father, he asked them, Why have you returned so early today? They answered, An Egyptian rescued us from the shepherds. He even drew water for us and watered the flock. And where is he? Raoul asked his daughters. Why did you leave him? Invite him to have something to eat. Moses agreed to stay with the man who gave his daughter Zipporah to Moses in marriage. Zipporah gave birth to a son, and Moses named him Gershom, saying, I have become a foreigner in a foreign land. Now, as you can see, Zipporah is Moses' wife who gave birth to their son, Gershom. I want to state that this story is obviously the tale of Senui in a biblical fashion. And the Bible seems to take lots of stories from around the world at that time and biblicize them. In other words, they take stories, for example, Terhaka is in the Bible, Xerxes is in the Bible, all kinds of people, but the stories are not exactly the same as they happen in real life. So the story of Moses is probably the tale of Sinewi. I'm not saying that all these people existed. I'm not saying Moses existed. I'm not saying Zipporah existed. I'm just saying that the way they're depicted tells you something about what they thought was possible for people to exist in certain locations and that it was not impossible for a Kushite or an Ethiopian woman to exist in these areas. And this is only one. There's like 10 more other descriptions of Ethiopians or even just black people living in the Middle East.